Hi everyone, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Um, I have a couple things to show you today. First I'm going to show you this little keychain mini. Um, it's a little petite size. I'm going to have a kit in my store. The kit is a basic kit. It's the chipboard pages and then the design paper and cardstock pages. There are no embellishments in this kit. I may later in the week put together an embellishment kit separate if you want to get that, but for right now it's the basic kit. This goes together so fast and they're so cute. I'll show you the basic kit real fast. You'll get six chipboard shapes. They already have the little holes in them. There's three different shapes. You'll get two of each of these. And then you'll get papers to cover them. Um, these are double sided. I think I mostly use this polka dot side really cute. Love it. This is a pink paisley paper. And this is a really pretty green cardstock. One of each of those. This is really pretty. It's a perfect shabby chic blue and it's glittered. Love it. I have to try and find some more of this. I'll probably be hoarding that. And three of these um, Prima. Really pretty flower design with some prints on it. And you have to excuse me, I'm holding on to this cold. So I'm going to sound a little crazy. Okay, so here's the mini. It's just bound with a little binder. Let's see if I can tighten in a little bit for you. This is just a little vintage image. Love it. It's a little hot air balloon. I have a little Prima flower. Here's, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't even in frame. Oh, I know a little bit. The, um, this is some new trim I just got in. I know you all have seen this, but this is really, really tiny, really petite. I think it's a quarter of an inch. Each flower is just a quarter of an inch. It's so cute. And I wasn't sure that I would like the clear. But I really do because it just adds a little something but it doesn't take away um, from the graphic so I'm really kind of loving that. Here's a Prima flower and then a leaf that I cut out with a Martha Stewart punch. I'm not sure the name of it but it's one of her punches, the small one. And then here's the paper. I distressed the edges with vintage photo distress inks and you can see the, um, the glitter forms kind of a resist, so the more you ink it, the more that glitter pops. Really cute. Oh, where are my little... Hold on guys, sorry. I had... I thought I was more organized with that one. Shoot! I have a vintage image that I had in there. I know it's here somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. And this little tag it says enjoy the journey and it, I stamped off twice and did this little hot air balloon the hot air the stamps are from a Jillian Vance design um, she has all kinds of stamps they are beautiful these are really really nice quality stamps I don't know if you can see on here but can you see how crisp um, those lines are and this is with Distress Ink. And I know a lot of you stamp and you know that Distress Ink doesn't always leave the Christmas line, but look at that. They're beautiful. They're really deeply etched and they're um, heavy duty. They're not the real flimsy ones. Um, I'll have the information down below and she's been kind enough to offer my subscribers a 10% discount through the 31st and I'll have the discount code under here. But definitely go check her out. She's 13. She has this beautiful line tons of sentiment stamps. I know a lot of you have been looking for sentiment stamps. They're a little bit hard to find. But um, So anyway, go and check her out. I'm still looking for that image. It's not here. Anyway, it was a cute little balloon image. So, and this next page is a simple little design. This is another stamp from the pack. Oh, kind of hard to see. Really, really tiny but you see how crisp those lines are and this is itty bitty 
and I just did a little, it was one little stamp, and I just did a little background stamp and then colored it in the center with a little Spectrum Noir marker. And then a little butterfly and a Prima flower. And another little simple one. I kept this one pretty simple, just simply because it's so little and you're going to need some space for the pictures and journaling. Um, but I have a little Prima flower, some bling, and a little spray right there. Then just another little vintage, sorry, little vintage image. And then this one says Cherish the Journey, and this is another one of our stamps. And I just stamped it over the image. Um, again, really crisp and clear. This isn't special paper. It's not stamping paper or anything. Really beautiful stamps. And this one, a little polka dot one, again with all the inking. Some little flower trim and some Prima flowers. And then some more of Jillian's stamps. A little balloon, I colored it in with the Spectrum Noir markers and a dream stamp. And I don't know if you can see, then I stamped off and stamped a couple just little shadowy ones around. Another little simple page with a hydrangea and brad and ribbon. I really like this one. I like the shape. You can really see the glitter. And then I've just got some Prima flowers, some bling, Prima rose. And this is fun. I don't have these in my shop yet, but I will have them by the end of the week. It's a little die cut and you can attach your flowers. It does have a curve. And then I have one that just has one little flower. Really adorable. I left this up so you can slide a picture in. And then another little simple page. Um, a butterfly. These come up so you slide your picture. Some more of that little baby trim. And then the back with just some little Prima pearls. So really a fun project. You can also use them, um, I don't think I have it handy either. Oh, here I do. Not very organized. You can use the kit like I've done, making a little mini, or you can use it like I did in my, um, this little charm bracelet al album that I showed the other day as just like a little charm in the in the book. So there's a lot you can do with these. You can use them as tags. They'd be really cute, really decorated up and um, hung with ribbon on a wine bottle for a gift. Um, a lot of things you can do with it. Now here's another, here's a little card that I made with Jillian stamps. It says lifting you up in prayer. It has a little balloon that I, I watercolored with um, my watercolor technique with the mica powder. I can't get the shine right now, but it's real shiny. And then a little butterfly. And again, I stamped off and did this in the background. So all these stamps are hers. Really, really nice. And let me think. I think that's it. I wish I could find that little image I was talking about. But let's just take another look at the, let me widen out, at her stamps. This is two separate sets. Um, this one is hot air balloon, and this one is mini whimsical balloons. Um, if I had to pick just one, it's hard because I like these little balloons over here, but I like some of the sentiments on this one, so of course I have to have both. Um, but she has stamp sets with men's sentiments. I mean, really unique, unique um, sayings and things, and, and they're so hard to find. And again, you can find this in my exhibit. So thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good afternoon.